welcome back to my channel so aside from cooking and baking i also love to do some project and crops and one thing i love to do is decoupaging so today we're going to my banky and do a project and i like to welcome you to my banky as well as someone is joining me on this project today <laughs> my dog coco all right guys Here is the tool bags that I'm going to transform and decoupage it. So my husband gave it to me. He said it's too small to put some tools on it. So I'm going to transform it and uh, decoupage it. This tool box is uh, plastic. So the surface of the uh, tool box is kind of rough. So it might not be hard to decoupage it. But I'm not going to paint it. I'm just going to leave it the way it is. But I'm going to uh, paint some portion of the tool bags. Okay, guys? Okay, here is the inside of the tool bags. So, yeah. It's also green. <laughs> of course, it's going to be green. Anyway, I want to check my um, napkins. So, here are my napkins that I accumulated for years of decoupaging. So, I want to look at the uh, print that has... Um, color with that, that will match a color with the tool bag so i think this one has so many green so it will match perfectly because i don't want to paint the tool bag so i think this is perfect all right guys okay here is the print of the napkin isn't it beautiful so i think the lots of green on that that will uh, match with the uh, tool bags kind of like it okay we'll start to remove the uh, layers of the napkin because we're always we're only going to be used the top layer of the napkin and also we're going to use mud patch water to cut the um, napkin using a brush all right guys those basically the simple materials that you need in order to take a patch as well as a plastic and clean wrap all right so after i separate the uh, napkin to the uh, back portions so it's important to cut your uh, napkin using water and the brass so that when you paste it's not gonna look like um, they've been cut but it's just look like a one piece of napkin okay guys so as you can see i'm using a water and a brush to cut it okay so now here is the clean wrap so I'm gonna cut a little bit and then I will position the napkin that you have to put it upside down and then we'll spread and um, put some mud patch at the back of the napkin you can just spread it you know thinly and then we'll paste it to the um, tool bag so this is a very e easy project and and it's beautiful as well once it's finished so that's why i enjoy doing the decoupaging very simple and you can transport any kind of materials that you like to look it nicer So I use some credit card to uh, straighten it and smoothen the uh, the napkin while pacing it. Okay, guys. finished the first side so we're going to keep working here and do the rest of the other side and as well as the top okay I was able to finish the four uh, side of the tool box I never thought there's a lot of details on it but anyway now is the uh, bottom part we're going to cover it as well as you can see it so I'm just gonna directly put a lot of um, mud patch on it and then glue the napkin because it's just a button anyway okay, 
Okay, so I finished the bottom part, so now I'm going to work on the top. I think for the top, there is one edge there that I don't like to decoupage. Maybe I'm just gonna paint it in. As you can see, the uh, lid of this tool bag has a lot of details, but we're going to um, decoupage that as well. So this is gonna be my third napkin. Sorry guys, I never thought that this time of the day here on my banky, on my working table, there's a lot of glares because the working table is facing um, a window. So there's a lot of glares on my uh, camera. So anyway, I'm gonna show to you once I finish the lid, okay guys? Okay guys, I was able to finish the uh, cover or the uh, lid of the uh, tool bag. So I decoupage that as you can see. There's so many details on this part of the uh, tool bags. As you can see that. So however, as you can see the edge, so I'm going to just paint it. So at least it's have a little bit of design on it. Yeah. So this is the color that I pick up to paint it. And I'm going to uh, do a second coat afterwards after I paint this all the uh, edge of the tool bags, all right? Okay, so after I finish painting the edge, so now we're going to uh, take care of the handle. For the handle, uh, we're just not gonna leave it like that color. So I'm going to cover it with jute or the rope. But on this process or step, you will need a glue gun in order to base it uh, tightly to the uh, handle. Okay guys? there and I can't wait to see how this handle gonna turn out it's coming together yeah hey I finished it guys there you go here is my tool bags that I transform into a beautiful cosmetic bag yes I'm gonna make it as a cosmetic bag because whenever we are being and uh, traveling my serum my facial stuff lipstick and everything is all over the place I want to put it in a much secure uh, container so this is the one I'm gonna use so isn't it nice that you can transform a tool box into a cosmetic bag anyway I hope you enjoyed this uh, project and I'd like to say thank you to all of you for watching my channel thank you for all the new subscribers thank you for all the previous subscribers and to all the viewers of the channel thank you very very much so I'll see you around on my next video take care everyone bye for now